When a mixture is thrown out in a field, it's very hard to know which, which variety is performing well and which variety is contributing to the sword. If we evaluate uh, and do our research as monocultures, we know that those varieties are performing well in Ireland. We know they're performing well in, you know, in our conditions, under our soils. Uh, it gives us an indication that if they're doing well as monocultures, they should also do well as mixtures. We support some grass breeding programs over in Wales, in Arboriswit, and from this we're getting new material coming through uh, all the time, which you know we then make available to our to our customers. Tuna, this is the um, the grass space plant nursery. How do you use this in, in the breeding programs? The space plant nursery is one of the key parts of, of producing a variety. In order to get a, a variety onto the national list, it has to pass certain criteria. Yeah. Um, it needs to be distinct from any other variety, yeah. uniform within the population, and stable over several generations. We're looking for plants which have a similar growth type, similar width of leaves, length of leaves. The ground is marked using a sled in a grid pattern and we plant on each cross. All the planting for these is done in, by hand because it's a fully randomised trial. From 15,000 plants we would be looking at maybe getting one or two varieties. This is the National Plant Phenomics Centre. It's the only one of its kind in the UK. So it's a large automated glass house, so we can control uh, temperature, light, so we can have summer all year round if we need to. All the plants are grown in separate cars which move along conveyor belts, and each plant is treated as an individual because each of the cars has an RFID chip in it, so the computer knows each plant as it comes along to the weighing station or into the imaging cabins. This works 24-7, 365 days a year. David, this is a, a white clover mapping family. Um, how, how do you use it? We use map, mapping families to look for markers in the genetics of a plant uh, for specific traits which are difficult to measure um, in the field. Uh, for example, disease resistance. It's uh, a way of um, getting new traits into plants a lot quicker. Yeah, it speeds up by several years. So it can really make a huge difference to how fast we can get uh, a trait into a variety. That must be a huge advantage for the programme. Absolutely. How are you managing your swords at the moment to ensure you have a high proportion of, of leaf? From tight grazing, we were able to keep the quality in it. The cow does the job for you? Yeah. yeah. With the good grasses, the cows are anxious to eat it down bare. So. Yeah.